Hello all. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about something uh, you may or may not be familiar with. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, the Bash RC profiles that can be found in uh, Linux. Um, right now I'm running uh, Arch Linux in a virtual machine. And obviously if you've you know been around Linux for the last year or so, you know this is uh, uh, GNOME 3, GNOME 3, whatever. So the, to get started, um, go to the home folder, and you have to unhide files. So we press Control and then H, and that brings up the dot extensions as well. For some reason, my mouse isn't scrolling. So um, this is the file we want to get to use here. I'll just zoom in right here, bash RC. dot bash rc sorry okay so double click on that should open in uh your in g edit and uh as you can see here uh there already is something here called an alias this is, and this is what i want to talk about it uh it makes it easy to automate or not automate semi-automate how's that semi-automatic okay um Command, commands, right? Like this here says ls, which is list files in, in the terminal, and color equals auto, so whatever you have your terminal set up is. So I'll press enter a couple of times, and I'll type alias, and then a space, and say if you want to, um, I don't know, if you're using uh, Arch Linux, you probably already know this anyway. Um, um, if there's something you edit, a file you edit all the time. So I'm going to do two uh, single quotes. And before that, I'm going to make a, an alias. So um, uh, let's call it, uh, we're going to edit in nano. So I'll put, just put NO, okay, Net for nano <laughs> equals, and then inside the two quote marks, um, it's going to be pseudo. So you're going to be asked for the password, slash etsy, slash rc, dot c-o-n-f. Okay, that's one. Um, each time you do these, you have to log out. So that's why I'm going to do a couple of more. Alias. Um, if you want to go into pseudo, like uh, root mode of uh, Nautilus, say nt equals um, pseudo, and then just Nautilus. Oops. And I hope I spelled that right. And one more, I think, uh, what was I thinking? There's another one. It's another terminal. These are all terminal, um, based commands that you'd be using. So, so RC, config, Nautilus, um, there's another, Ah, right. Say if you want to type in DIR, like directory in uh, Windows, and you want to get more details, so you can do ls, which is list, and then dash or tack or whatever, la, so that'll list all the, the files um, with their, their directories and their attributes. Okay, so we just press uh, control save or control s. We'll close this, close this down, let's go to your menu here, or wherever you are, you know, just log out, <laughs> just log out, let's hope these work, so you just log yourself back in, and uh, yeah, favorites, uh, terminal. So what did we had? We had Nautilus. I hope I did this right. It was no password. Oh, I forgot to put in sudo. I'm so sorry. Um, home. For some reason, it won't. Dot. It won't let me uh, type in the command up here to find it. Yeah, I for, sorry, I forgot to put in uh, nano in there. And 
and you don't need it. Okay. Saved. Okay, let's try this one more time, shall we? <clears throat> Log out. I should mention too that uh, in uh, if you're using Ubuntu or another like a you know pre-configured you know basically operating system, there'll be a lot more things in that Bash RC file than what you saw there. A lot more. So you're gonna be careful, and I advise you maybe make a copy, a backup of it, because uh, things can go wrong. <laughs> uh, terminal. Okay, let's try NL for Nautilus. Uh, to open something and put input password there we go so there we go I'm, I'm in uh, nano and the RC configuration file obviously I don't want to do anything with that so I'll just exit the other one was NT for Nautilus um, as root and there we go if I press control L you can see him at root that makes it a little easier um, then typing the whole thing that you have to in, when you're doing your bash things. And the last one was uh, DIR. So let's clear the screen. And DIR. And I'll just zoom in a bit here. I'll make this full screen. And it should list everything. There we go. All the stuff you have in your home folder. Um the read and writes and uh, even the hidden um, the dot folders that are usually hidden by default and uh, who owns them so users or the root okay so that's that's it for this um, I hope you found it useful um, I hope it wasn't a, a waste and you said oh I already know this but if you did I'm sorry um, but uh, yeah, that's that's it for now. Any questions, just feel free to add them in the comment section and I'll try to help you out. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and have a good one and bye for now.